Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we are following tonight. Any individual who had the opportunity to stop this tragedy should have done so. Powerful words from the Oakland County prosecutor as she announced charges against the parents of the accused Oxford High School shooter. Jennifer and James Crumley were expected to be charged with involuntary manslaughter this afternoon, but they were nowhere to be found. The sheriff says their attorney couldn't reach the couple by phone or text when detectives moved to make the arrest, triggering the U.S. Marshals, FBI, and a fugitive task force to go out searching. Friday afternoon, their lawyer announced the couple is now returning to the area to face arraignment, and they left for safety, not to flee. Police in Flint are searching for a suspect in a deadly hit and run of a pedestrian. Police say it happened last night on Fenton Road near Simcoe Avenue around 620. 41-year-old Mario Williams was crossing Fenton when he was struck by a vehicle headed south. Williams was taken to a hospital where he died. And now here's Brian with a look at our forecast. Thanks very much, Meg. The weekend, very much a 50-50 split this time around, starting off nice enough on Saturday with a small pocket of high pressure and relatively clear skies giving us some sunshine. It's the second half where things are going to take a more messy turn as what looks to be the first of our you know, real significant storm systems of the season prepares to roll on in. However, looking at the sky tracker tonight, you'd be forgiven for not necessarily expecting that there was a big winter storm coming our way because even with this elongated frontal boundary kind of snaked across most of the country here tonight and some smaller disturbances along it in parts of Illinois, Oklahoma, uh, Colorado and over toward Wyoming, really not much in the way of precipitation or cloud coverage for that matter to show for these systems, but it's this low in particular that we're especially focused on here as it emerges from Wyoming and heads into the plains tomorrow. Like so often happens as lows emerge from the Rockies, it's going to get better organized. It's going to tap into a bit of a reservoir of moisture from the south and then eventually set its sights on us here in the Great Lakes as we roll into Sunday. So here's how everything times out. Hour by hour forecast going from the 7 o'clock to midnight time frame on our Friday evening. Mostly cloudy skies. They're not going anywhere just yet. Might see a flurry or two here and there, but really nothing significant in the form of any precipitation. More importantly, after midnight, we'll actually see a wedge of dry air, small pocket of high pressure settling in that'll clear our skies out pretty well. It's going to be a sunny start on our Saturday, and in fact, by many accounts, a mostly sunny at times Saturday all throughout, going into the 1 o'clock hour in the afternoon. And even as we approach uh, sunset around 5 p.m. on Saturday evening, good majority of us enjoying sunshine with cloudier skies expected along M55. Then it's late Saturday evening when the first, you know, kind of leading edge of that system starts to roll on in. And by the time many of us are waking up on Sunday morning, we'll already be settling in to a narrow band of what will likely be snow as this uh, first wave of precipitation comes on in with a warm frontal boundary. It'll be light snow, maybe a coating on some grassy surfaces really at worst. Heading into the midday period on Sunday, we'll actually get a wedge of dry air behind the passing warm front. Still some lingering rain or snow in parts of, say, uh, the north shore of the bay across parts of the eastern thumb. But then it's during the afternoon on Sunday, 3 o'clock, when we start to see the more significant precipitation rolling on in. And it's roughly a 50-50 split. Dry cities on northward, it's more of a mix or even just some plain, uh, uh, plain snow at times early on before then changing completely over to a wintry mix from the Tri Cities US 10 corridor up toward about Houghton Lake uh, by the, about the uh, 6 o'clock time frame. While locations farther to the south, say along I 69, Flint, and a good chunk of the thumb, you'll warm up enough to change everything over to rain. You may even see some brief periods of plain snow at times into early Sunday evening along M55 before then a brief changeover back to rain for every Everybody, and then sharp cooling into Monday that will trigger along with some windy conditions some lake effect snow. So big impact coming from this system and actually ultimately triggers a more active weather pattern that'll take us into a good chunk of next week. Before tonight it's quiet, mostly cloudy, low temp around 33 degrees, west wind 6 to 12. Well, it counts a nice Saturday, 38 degrees. The high tomorrow will be breezy, too, so not quite feeling like 38, but at least we'll have some sunshine through uh, otherwise variably cloudy skies. But, of course, it's Sunday when all bets are off. Rain and snow rolls in. We'll hit 43 for a high, but messy day, of course. And then that triggers a big drop in the temperatures. 37 on Monday with scattered lake effect snow showers. And then two more systems there 
Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, bringing another round of light snow to the area and also a high of only 28 on Tuesday before then a third system comes in from Thursday night into Friday morning, bringing us another rain snow mix with highs both days in the upper 30s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.